everyone, I am Pratibha Dubey, a digital marketing specialist at Cloud Analogy. Welcome you to another wonderful webinar. Deep dive into the Tableau CRM plus Einstein Analytics features. I have Yadu Nagar with me, who is our speaker of this wonderful webinar, and he is a quality assurance specialist at Cloud Analogy. Yadu, I would like you to introduce yourself to our lovely audience and tell them about your experience. Yeah. I have been working in cloud analogy since three years as a Salesforce quality analyst and I have worked in different uh, Salesforce uh, clouds like sales, marketing and uh, service etc. And today we will discuss about the latest topic of uh, Spring 21 that is custom fiscal years yeah, that yeah. is included in Salesforce. So this, this is very important. So <laughs> Okay, so yeah, though I have been uh, like I have seen sir, that this is the trending topic in the Salesforce. Uh, that is a fresh release of Salesforce. And yeah, this will be a, an amazing webinar if our audience get to know about these features. And now, before we get started with this webinar, I, I would like you to take a few minutes to introduce Cloud Analogy. What is Cloud Analogy? Cloud Analogy is a leading Salesforce development and consulting company that offers Salesforce customization, integration, and migration services. So through this webinar, we will get an idea of the best guidance and recommendations to tell our business analytics. We will also talk about the solutions for business related problems with AI models. So before we get started on this journey, I would like to inform you all about a certain aspects of the webinar. That is, if you have any question for any of us. So through this webinar, we will get an idea of the best guidance and recommendation to tailor your business analytics. And we'll also talk about the solution for business related problems with AI models. So before we get started to this amazing journey, I would like you to inform you all about the certain aspects of the webinar. Like if you have any questions for us or for this webinar, I will request you please let us know on this the end of the webinar. And you can even directly raise your question on the given below of the email address in the description below. So please post your question in the chat box that we would discuss later during the QA session. So the agenda for this webinar is as follow, find the solutions to the business related problems via AI models, provide guidance and recommendations to tailor your business analytics, organize data on a solo platform for excellent management and predefined strategy for further actions and steps. So Yadu, it's all about the amazing webinar, the agendas and all that thing which I have told to the audience and now you have to get started with this amazing webinar. So over to you Yadu. Okay. So first of all, today's uh, in our today's agenda, we will have uh, the discussion about the what is Tableau CRM and what is the use of custom fiscal year in our Salesforce org yeah. and what are the considerations for enabling the uh, custom fiscal uh, year in Salesforce. So uh, let's move on to uh, what is uh, uh, Tableau CRM. So Tableau CRM is uh, earlier it was used for uh, analyzing the uh, business analytics and uh, Salesforce also has its uh, own uh, Einstein analytics. So uh, now, uh, now Salesforce has combined both of the features and uh, into the one, and they are using uh, that in analyzing the uh, business technical uh, technicalities of Salesforce. So based uh, uh, based on the uh, uh, features of both uh, Salesforce analytics and Tableau CRM, the the users can uh, use the uh, customers uh, the analysis of data and use uh, use their strategy to build their customers more and more so uh, tableau crm was uh, formally uh, it was uh, the uh, uh, einstein analytics and that empowers salesforce crm users in actionable insight and ai driven analytics right in their workflow so based on that you can make the right decisions uh, uh, using the einstein analytics and uh, you can know what to do next because uh, uh, base, basic thing is that you should analyze your data and based on that you have to uh, you have to perform the activities in your uh, in your businesses so uh, Einstein analytics uh, uh, enables you uh, to view data perfectly so uh, it is now uh, the fully part of Salesforce CRM now and we can use both the features okay so let's move on to the next slide. So what is custom fiscal year? So you so custom you can define your custom fiscal year in Salesforce or this feature is, is now available and based on the uh, uh, business needs you can define your uh, fiscal years now. 
so earlier there was uh, boundation of uh, using the 12 months per year calendar in salesforce now you can define your custom f fiscal year that match matches your company financial planning requirements and salesforce provides this flexible template that you can customize to meet your uh, needs such as template for, for a uh, cust uh, fiscal year that has four quarters the, uh, each with four four five structure uh, two uh, two weeks per month and a, and a five week month so some companies break down their fiscal year quarters and weeks into the custom fiscal uh, 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 periods based on their fi financial planning requirement. Salesforce allow you to use this flexibility in through their periods using custom fiscal year. For example, you can create 13 week quarter represented by three periods of four, four and five weeks rather than the calendar months. So uh, fiscal years can be uh, modified at any time as per your needs. Next, let's move on to the next slide. That is the consideration for enabling the custom fiscal years. So before enabling custom fiscal years, uh, consider these, these key points. After enabling custom fiscal year, you can't disable this feature. However, you can revert the fiscal year. You can define fiscal years that follow the Georgian calendar structure as the Salesforce standard fiscal year. So if you if you want to uh, revert back to that uh, 12 month per year, then you can use the 12 month per year Georgian calendar of Salesforce. So fiscal year definitions are not automatically created. You have to define your fiscal year for each year you, you do business. So it's up to you. You can customize your uh, business fiscal years and you can work on uh, according to that. So enabling a def uh, or defining custom fiscal year impacts your forecast reports uh, and quotas that you use in Salesforce to analyze the data and you, you can get the uh, correct picture of your business where you are right now and based on that you can work uh, to more uh, uh, innovate your customers as well. So you can't you can't use custom fiscal year columns in opportunity, opportunity with product, opportunity with schedule reports. But you, uh, the main thing is that you can define your custom fiscal year and uh, you can uh, work according, uh, you, your business can run uh, according to that fiscal years. Earlier this feature was not, not present. Now let's move to the next slide and uh, turning on the custom fiscal year for your sales force. So for, for any, uh, for enabling the custom, custom fiscal year in your Salesforce org, you have to go to setup and then write the custom fiscal year. Then it will show you two options. So one is the standard uh, standard fiscal year and another is the custom fiscal year. So you can choose from there. Now next move to the next slide. How, how to select the custom fiscal year structure? If you if you want to define a custom fiscal structure, so Salesforce has defined uh, many options as you can see. Uh, there are uh, multiple uh, options like four quarters per year, 13, uh, 13 weeks per quarter. And uh, this is no, not for the particular same structure. You can use it as four, four, five. Means with each quarter, uh, with each quarter, you can have multiple uh, weeks uh, divided into, into that. You can use four, four, five, four, five, four, and five, four, four. Means there are, uh, there are multiple structures. You can use four quarters per, per year, 13 weeks per quarter, and you can use that in, uh, in the chunks of three, three modules. So four, four, five, and four, five, four, and five, four, four. And there, are, there is another template type that is 13 period per year and four weeks uh, per period. And you can use that chunk in the, in the uh, slots of three, three, four, three, three, four, three, three, four, three, three, and four, three, three, three. So as per your selection, your custom fiscal year will be divided on that. And if you want to uh, use the previous uh, uh, Salesforce fiscal year that is uh, based on the 12 month per year, then so you can select the Georgian calendar. Uh, that is the third option and you can uh, continue with that. And after that, let's move on to the next slide. After turning on the custom fiscal year uh, feature in your all, you can turn on the custom fiscal year calendar for Einstein analytics. Go to the setting. Uh, type analytics and uh, enable that feature and save that after that next let move let's move on to the next slide you have to run all your data flows to make the use of custom fiscal year because all the all the flows and processes that are saved in the uh, in the salesforce org are based on now on the uh, are using the custom fiscal year that is uh, that is used by the uh, salesforce org now okay so i think now like you have done with your slides? Yeah, yeah. 
okay so basically you have so uh, shown the slides of the particular tool which you we are going to use oh. that is physical cal uh, custom physical calendar okay so uh, now i would request you to show some live demo on this uh, calendar so that our audience can just see how we can set the set, uh, following thing and we can just move on with that uh, calendar okay, okay so yeah yeah please give the live demo to all of the audience okay so let's move on to the live live demo part so i will i will explain you the live uh, uh, things what are the custom fiscal year and how you can enable the custom fiscal year how you can choose the uh, different uh, types of uh, fiscal years according to the templates so let's move on to the live demo so let's dive into the live demo of custom fiscal year that is used in salesforce org so first of all you have to log in into the salesforce org and after that you have to go to the setup and in the uh, from here in the quick find box you have to type fiscal year so after that you click the fiscal year then it will show you the options of now you can see that standard fiscal year and custom fiscal year currently it is using the standard fiscal year that is based on month wise so you have to choose the month and based on that month the your your fiscal year will start and it will be according to the standard okay but as you know that so you can uh, see that there are uh, it is showing the warning message before enabling the custom you consider the following after uh, your organization will no, no longer be automatically defined by salesforce.com so it means that you have to define the uh, uh, all the uh, uh, custom fiscal year based on your requirements salesforce will not define your uh, the, st uh, the standard way so uh, and also if you enable the custom fiscal year you you can't you can't move this option to to for enabling the custom fiscal year you have to click this checkbox i understand and then click enable custom fiscal years so after enabling this custom fiscal year so it will show you the options like here if you go to the uh, setup and type fiscal year so you can see that it will show you the options of custom custom fiscal year years as now so if you click for defining the custom fiscal years you have to click new so after clicking new it will show you the templates that are defined by salesforce so in the first template that is four quarter per week and 13 weeks per quarter per quarter so 13 weeks are divided in, into the quarters and first quarter will have four weeks another uh, another next quarter will have four weeks and next quarter will have uh, five weeks so within each quarter it is also given the description over here you can read this description as well to let uh, to let you know what what is exactly going to be in this quarter okay so you can define the temp uh, you can select the template from here it is next it is uh, given the flexibility of using the uh, the quarters and weeks divided as well so you can choose 454 544 and as as mentioned five uh, over here 544 means in period in this quarter period one has five weeks period two has four weeks period three has has Four weeks so you can choose the template type from here there is another template that is based on the periods so there are 13 periods per year four weeks uh, per period so these 13 periods are divided into uh, these flexible uh, types of templates so three 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 four first is three 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 four and another is three three four three and three four three three and four triple three so these are the multiple templates that you can choose for your particular quarter so uh, another thing that is uh, another benefit that is provided by salesforce that if you want to stick to that the previous standard uh, salesforce uh, so salesforce fiscal year so it it was uh, basically 
you have to choose the 12 months per year so if you choose this 12 months per year then it it will work as a standard that that, that is used by the earlier by salesforce so by clicking here you can if you want to choose that 12 month per year then it will work according to that so let's take this first so click continue so according to this now you can this page allows you to define custom fiscal year record dates for the custom fiscal year will be generated based on the choices you make below if you need to customize your fiscal year expand the advanced customization section so if you want to uh, go to the advanced uh, customization section then you can also uh, define a particular customization over here also uh, so so first of all you have to uh, define the fiscal year structure so you can see that you have chosen the 445 structure and fiscal year start will uh, will be from you can define the start date as well so if you want to change this date then you can you can uh, choose this date as uh, starting of month you can choose this and fiscal year name you can define your own fiscal year name okay based on that it will show and you can also uh, define the st uh, week start day okay okay so week start uh, you can also define the week start day okay so you can choose the week uh, from here from this pick list and you can also define the advanced customization of your custom fiscal year based on the quarter period and week you can, you have to de define the customizations over here and then insert okay and then uh, as you have chosen uh, the first as you have chosen the fiscal year information over here then you have to click save to update the records so you can see that now the custom fiscal year is uh, is defined over here and its starting date is is first feb of 2021 and it will end in 31 uh, 30 jan 2022 so according uh, to this you can define the custom fiscal years uh, in your salesforce org and you can also uh, define the custom fiscal year names as well okay so if you want to uh, change the quarter prefix so you have to click edit and from here you can choose uh, the pick list values so if you want to choose the pick list values as from here quarter fq q trimester these are uh, already defined if you want to click we want to create new quarter prefix then you have to go and type your own quarter prefix over here and then click save if you don't want to choose and if you want to remain the previous one then you have to choose from from here so so let's move on to the next thing so if you want to uh, change the custom fiscal year name of period prefix then you have to go over here and uh, you see in the similar way you uh, that that you can change the uh, quarter prefix and period prefix you can uh, change from here also and you have you can also define your period prefix from here and you can uh, choose your own custom uh, prefix by creating the new pick list values from here also so in this way you can define your uh, fiscal years as well so after defining fiscal years if you go to the uh, the um, analytics part of uh, of your salesforce org so you can also use the uh, the main feature of salesforce that if you want to use the cut so let's move on to the analytics part of, of my org so if i want to analyze my data and use the ai uh, descriptions of uh, that is used in in salesforce so i have uh, so if you want to uh, use the features of uh, einstein analytics then you can uh, you can also ha have a demo or for having 30 day trial of uh, einstein analytics and you can also uh, uh, analyze the power of einstein analytics in your businesses and you for for that you can roll out a new uh, demo org for 30 30 day trial and it's free for from salesforce and salesforce has this quality uh, that 
they can uh, they, uh, they show their features based on their salesforce org so you can uh, analyze the features of uh, uh, salesforce analytics so go to the analytics part and from here if you open this any report so now it will show the analysis of uh, your so if you open any uh, uh, dashboard or, or reports that are saved earlier in your org now all are based on that custom fiscal year that you have chosen and based on that you can you can view your data according to your needs so that's all from my end thank you okay so since we are towards the end of this webinar i would have some questions uh, to ask you which is came from our audience side okay. so so yeah to the first question for from our audience side is that is there any way to disable customer fiscal calendar so unfortunately it looks like there is one way road trip there is no going back going back from this once you enable custom fiscal year now uh, you can't disable that okay so it's <laughs> so guys it's it's very tough if you have enabled that cust uh, custom physical calendar so it's quite difficult to disable that and well said yadud it's very quite difficult that it's one it's kind of one way road trip if you have gone there then definitely you can't return from there if there is a one way from that but, place but pratibha there is there is another options uh, of using the but there is another option of going back to that 12 month per year in salesforce that is uh, the third template that i have, i have uh, discussed about and i will show you that also that you can use that uh, the previous one also but uh, enabling the custom fiscal year you have to use that that template only okay okay so we only have that particular template for that particular uh, uh, thing not apart from that we don't have any other template for that so uh, like the previous question one of our attendees would like to know your opinion on various management ideas with crm tabio so you have to identify your business objectives and create strong data processes focus on the critical use cases of your company data and build your strategy from there and these priorities will help you to analyze different processes tools governance and many more okay so yeah so now we are heading to the last question we have from our audience side that is there is a queue for uh, uh, this like uh, do uh, tendy wants to know your recommendation to tailor business analytics okay so so companies will recognize the importance of analytics and business intelligence as a part of their overall master data management strategy benefit benefit from the insights that can be underpin and improve practices so leading to greater customer engagement as a result you can have increased sales yeah, of course <laughs> it's leading to greater customer engagement as a result we are going to have increased sales yeah. so yeah definitely it's a good saying and so uh, okay so i don't think anyone could have done justice to this topic better than you uh, yadu so now we are done with the question part of fears and so I would like you to thank you for taking some time for us and enlightening us our audience too with your knowledge on this topic deep dive into Tableau CRM plus I understand analytics features so I would also like you to thank our audience for being part of this amazing webinar and making it successful so now we will meet you soon with our next topic of the webinar that is get started with Patreon on 25th February 2021 8:30 pm IST so till then take care and bye bye guys bye.